Hey Nesters, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm sharing with you my Goodwill Thrift Haul. This one is a little bit on the smaller side from what I'm used to getting because I was actually out of town again. This was at the Augusta Main Store. And so I went down south for a couple of things. Uh, this was actually a couple weeks ago, but I'm just getting around to sharing this one with you. And so, yeah, I, I found some items. I'm always interested to see other Goodwills when I'm out and about, right, in different areas. But I have to say, I'm pretty spoiled here in my local area. I think we have one of the nicer and bigger Goodwills, and it's always very packed. We just must have a lot of stuff up here. <laughs> but yeah, I did find a few items that I... I'm going to share with you today. I found one thing that was probably my favorite item I got, uh, you know, maybe even in a while because this was from the year I was born. And no, I'm not gonna tell you the year I was born. <laughs> but this is from the year I was born. And the saddest thing about it is it's a little boy and not a little girl, right? But I still really liked it. I am gonna hang on to this. It is a little piggy bank here. And why do they still call them piggy banks when they're not actually piggies? Maybe they're just banks, and I just think they're called piggy banks. They had this marked $3, and I did get a discount. Like I said, this was a couple weeks ago, so I I wasn't 25% off. I, I would guess it was probably... It was either 15 or 20% off. I'll just tell you the prices that they had marked on them. But it is labeled Inesco on the bottom with the year it came out, and... That just made me excited to see, you know, my birth year on it. So I got this and yeah, I was happy to find that. So probably my next favorite find that I got there was these two glasses here. Now they had a marked a dollar a piece and the reason why I was excited, I mean, I knew they were vintage, you know, amber glasses, but uh, it's probably been maybe even close to two months ago. I picked up a picture this picture right here actually, and I found this at Salvation Army in one of my Salvation Army hauls. I actually still have the sticker on it. I had paid $2.99 for it, and I, I liked it. I wasn't sure if it was vintage or not because I had never seen this pattern before here. And then on that video, a subscriber of mine had told me what it was. It is actually put out by Libby. It's a pattern called Arctica Gold. So it actually was vintage. I thought it had the right weight to it, and had the right look to it, but I just couldn't find this pattern. I wasn't familiar with it, so I thought it might be more modern, and I had planned to put it in my booth to resell, but I thought once she told me it was vintage, I would go ahead and hang on to it and see if I could locate the glasses at any point, you know, in my travels here. So I did go ahead and I found these, right? So I found two glasses that go with it. Ideally, I'd like to find at least two more before I resell it as a set, but uh, you know, maybe even luck out and find six more so I could sell it as a set of eight, which is likely what it originally came in. I'm not sure what the original sets came in, but I think, I feel like there were eight glasses originally, right? But yeah, I was definitely happy that I found those. I knew exactly what the pattern was when I saw them and I was like, yeah, that's awesome. So I was happy to get that. So something else that I was familiar with, I have came across something like this before. Now, I wasn't sure if I still had the item or not. I feel like it was either a sugar or creamer. It was definitely a smaller container, but it had the same exact look to it and this flower on it. So I was like, you know, I like it anyways, right? It's a nice little picture here, but I figured, you know, if I still had that other item, I would have a little set to sell, right? And I I feel like I have it somewhere because I, I knew I, I potentially might have wanted to decorate with it in the spring and I think I got it this last winter. So I haven't got all that stuff out yet. So I need to go see if I can find it or if I did already sell it in my booth. I don't quite remember. I just, I deal with a lot of stuff. It's hard to remember sometimes. They had this marked $4 and I likely paid probably around $3 for it. So yeah, I really enjoyed this. I'm not sure the maker of it or anything, but I just know I really like how it looks and that it does have other pieces that go with it because I've seen it before. So this here is something else I actually already have as well. And it's this vintage like blue, tinted blue glassware here with a diamond cut and I got this, I I rarely find blue glassware. It seems, seems pretty hard to come by, 
but I have green glassware mostly and a few videos ago I told you guys I was actually getting rid of my melt glass. I plan to do a video on what I have for melt glass when I, you know, get rid of it. Someone asked me if I could do a video on the melt glass, so I will do that for you guys that are interested in it. But I'm replacing all the melt glass with blue and green glassware. And I like to break up the green. I do have different shades of green, but I like to include blue as well. Those are probably two of my most favorite colors. And yeah, so I was gonna grab this because I don't typically see anything blue, even though I knew I had the same exact one, but hey, what's, what's wrong with getting two, right? So I did get that. So I picked up this napkin holder here, and this is, I believe, Atlantic Mold Company put these out. And it's just a hand-painted piece someone would have done. This one is in nice condition. I was sad because it had another thing that went with it. I think it was a canister, but it was damaged pretty badly. I couldn't justify getting it. It was only, like, it wasn't really the price. It was just I, I would want to sell it as a set, and I don't think anyone would have wanted something as damaged as that was. So I figured, you know, this is still a nice napkin holder, so someone will enjoy this. And sadly, the other thing probably is gonna end up getting thrown out. And that's kind of why I was on the fence about, maybe I should still pick it up, because I, I hate that they just like destroy things, but I knew I didn't have time to try to fix it, and I wasn't sure, you know, if someone else would really want something that damaged, but I just got the napkin holder, and it was marked two bucks. So I paid up a little bit for this cookie jar. They had it marked $6, so I likely got it for probably around 5 But I just really thought it was, you know, really nice here with the vegetables on it. I like the color of it and all the detailing on it. Uh, it does have some chipping uh, because this is, uh, like, pushed out. It's kind of 3D and just slight chips throughout where it's mostly you know, pushed out there from getting banged into things a little bit. It's not, it's not that significant. I mean, if you enjoy this pattern, I think it's not gonna bother you that much. There is a little, I guess it's a pear. Was it a pear or a squash? I, I don't know if it's fruits or vegetables. I thought it was tomatoes and squash, maybe. I think that's what it is. <laughs> but, and it even has on the top here, this has some chips as well, just in a couple spots on the leaves, but again, very small, very insignificant. And I do plan to try to resell this, uh, even though it has a little bit of damage to it. Like I said, I don't think it was that serious, and we'll go ahead and you know let people know what's wrong with it, but I think someone will actually really enjoy this. So this next thing I got, I thought was pretty interesting. I'm not really sure what its purpose is other than maybe just a wall decor piece. It kind of looks like a spoon rest to me, but I don't think that's what it is. I think you just use it for wall decor and it has Chicago on it and then it has like a 3D effect with the city down there. I just thought it was a neat, you know, piece. It's pretty heavy. Uh, I think it's a weird material. I almost want to say it's wood, but then it's kind of like feels like ceramic, so. I don't know what it's made of exactly, but I think it's I think it's ceramic, and uh, they had it marked three dollars. So I I don't know if this is old enough for Etsy. It's some things are just really hard because you can't really find much about them, right? So it's hard to know. But I mean, twenty years ago it was only nineteen ninety nine, right? Like actually coming into two thousand now, so. Uh, I potentially might sell this on Etsy. I think it's probably old enough. It probably is old enough. I don't know. I don't know, like, I'm in Maine, so I'm not sure who here locally is going to have any ties to Chicago, but I'll see what I can do with it. I didn't really think of that through too well, but I just really liked it. I don't know. We'll give it a shot, I guess. So this is a Holland mold, and it is from 1978 that someone painted this. It is stated on the bottom here someone named Lorraine. <laughs> and yeah, I just think it's really nice. I think this will pair really well with the upcoming Memorial Day and Fourth of July season here in America. And yeah, I really, I just thought he was a really cool dude here. And I would potentially hang on to him myself, but I got a couple of semi-broken ones for myself at Salvation Army pretty recently that, I mean, I don't, I don't think I need a lot. You know, I have a small hutch that I, I just do the two shelves with um, some holidays that aren't, you know, larger holidays really. So I think I'm just gonna do do a small shelf. So I don't think I want a whole lot of things. 
And so I think I really want this to go to someone that, you know, can appreciate it as well. And yeah, I really like that. If it doesn't sell, it's fine. I probably am just going to store it when I do my uh, Memorial Day stuff. If it's not selling, I'll probably just keep it up there, and, you know, for the season and decorate with it until it sells. But I really do like that. And I don't see a price on it. <sighs> Usually, if it doesn't have a price on it, they'll give it to me for a dollar or two dollars. So I'd say it was probably around there, but yeah, really neat piece. So I thought this was kind of interesting here. It's this nice little metal decor piece. I don't think it's super old. It kind of reminds me of the mid-century uh, metal things like this. I picked up some cattails recently, right, that is very similar to this. And I just thought it was really nice. It's, is that palm trees, I guess? Kind of reminds me of maybe like Hawaii or Florida or something. I thought someone would really enjoy this. It was marked two dollars, and I think I think I'm gonna put it up on Etsy, and we'll see how it does. So I found this little trinket dish here with a cute little fairy inside of it. I thought it was really quite beautiful, and someone else had already taken the sticker off the Goodwill sticker. It was over the label, so I kind of could check it out a little bit. I. I'm not you know, opposed to doing that myself either to try to see the labels. Sometimes they're on there so so badly. This person just really went to town and ripped that up, right? <laughs> I would try to like peel it a little bit better just to kind of you know glance. I don't have to take it all the way off. Usually I can see it you know, just by the picking up the corner. But it does say it was made in Germany and it's the Flower Fairies Collection by Frederick Warren. So I'll have to look into this to see what the age of it is, whether I can put it on Etsy or if it's just going to go in the booth, but I definitely was going to pick it up. I thought it was, you know, just really pretty. And I think, let me read the tag here. Ugh, it's all ripped. I think it was $2. So yeah, I think that was a fair price and hopefully it's worth a lot of money, but likely it's probably just going to end up in the booth. <laughs> so I also found this little teapot here and it appears to be, you know, quite on the older side. I don't typically see vintage teapots without chips in them, so I was definitely going to grab this one. This one has no chips in it. I thought that was a chip at first, but it's just where the gold paint is. It's just like a little bit of a extra bubble there, so that's actually not a chip. Um, it doesn't have any markings on it, so I don't know who made it, but I think I'm going to put this in my Etsy store. I need to do some research on it. It has the like one, uh, it's not really a flower, but we'll call it a flower on this side. And then it has like three of those on this side here. I just thought it was really gorgeous. And yeah, so I was happy to grab that. So here in Maine, one of our big crops is blueberries. So I tend to gravitate towards things that have blueberries on it to put in my booth. And I found this really adorable wooden box here with hand-painted blueberries on it. It has some lace trim detailing around the edge there and it even has a little hand-painted blueberry on the inside of it. So I thought this was really sweet and they had it marked two bucks so this was definitely a handmade piece and I just thought you know that was really nice. I like handmade pieces like that and I hopefully someone will you know enjoy this. I'm sure it's always good to have little storage containers like this to hide all your junk in, right? So yeah, I think that was a good find. So I did pick up a couple of Christmas items and I'm trying to take it out of the bag for you guys. It is this set here that says Noel. It's four pieces and it has little cherub angels on it. Get it out here. And I just thought it was really, really quite cute. So we got the end there with the gold. I thought they were really nice. And just like, you know, it goes on and on like that. It's the O and we got the E and the L here. So it spells out Noel and they are labeled on the inside in Roman numerals. They're made in the USA. Uh, Roman numerals are MCML, triple X, V, I, I. So 1900 and something. <laughs> and yeah, so they're probably like from the, I don't know, 70s or 80s. Uh, and I just thought they were nice. I figured it was only a, a dollar for the set, so I figured it was worth picking up. And I'll likely try to resell these, you know, come July on my Etsy store when uh, I put up the Christmas item. So I was happy to get that. And then I got one other Christmas item that I don't know. I don't think this is too old, so I, I don't know if I can put it on Etsy. 
there's any way to figure out if this is 20 years old. It doesn't look it. <laughs> it's put out by Holly Hill and it was marked $2, but I will likely put this in the booth, but how cute was that with all the dogs as uh, part of the sleigh as the reindeer? I thought that was super adorable and someone's definitely gonna enjoy that. But yeah, that'll likely be a booth item, but I was gonna grab that. I thought, I thought that was quite nice. And then, oh, I did get one other Christmas item here. I mainly just got it for a toy for my kids. I don't, I don't know if these are worth that much money. It's, I don't know if you guys can see it, it's like a brass bear band and they actually will light up and play music and I think they dance. I think animated bears swing and sway to the music of 21 Christmas carols. And it does appear to be brand new. I don't think it ever was opened. It has the uh, you know, music box or whatnot in the back there. So I'm happy to try this out for my kids. They're one in three, so they're into anything that's loud and dances, makes music, uh, or anything that's really, you know, gonna make quite a big mess. So those are their two, you know, that's their two jams. That's what they like. So I think they're gonna enjoy this. Oh, 1995 this came out with. So technically, I guess I could put this on Etsy, but I wanna test it out anyways. We'll see if they like it. And then maybe if they're sick of it, we'll put it up and sell it. So yeah, that was kind of cool to get. I'll give you guys a close up to see what it actually is. It actually looks like you can put them up individually on your tree and I don't know, do they dance on your tree? It's kind of interesting. I've never seen anything like that before. So the last item I got is this here. It was marked $4 and I know it's probably typically used for, you know, storing wine, but I'm keeping it for myself because I actually really enjoy this kind of aesthetic, this look and of the wicker kind of wood looked and I figured I could use this for something else. I'm kind of thinking art supplies, uh, putting pencils and paint brushes and stuff in there. Uh, I don't know, let me know what kind of ideas you guys would have for this that isn't for wine. What would you guys use it for? It's quite nice, I think. <laughs> Well, that's gonna do it for today's haul. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you're subscribed if you wanna see tomorrow's Goodwill thrift along with me. You can come shopping along with me and see if there's anything that you would pick up. And yeah, we'll catch you in the next one. Bye.